back to my channel or welcome. If you haven't been here before, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another project here with us or a vlog. Um, so as you saw by the title, we're going to be doing a furniture makeover. The dresser that we found, we found it on Facebook Market for only 15 bucks, guys, and it's real solid wood. So if you want to see this project, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to clean your furniture very well. I'm just using some mild soap and warm water. show you guys how gross this water is look at that disgusting it is filthy that rag I'm just throwing away but yeah just look at that Ooh, so gross but that's why you want to absolutely clean it Okay guys, as you can see, we are now ready to start sanding. I'm using an orbital sander with 220 grit, uh, which is a finer grit in order to start removing the shine from the furniture. You want to make sure that you actually sand your furniture down. This allows for the shine to be removed and it roughs up the furniture, so to speak, so that your paint has something to adhere or it adheres a lot better. As you guys saw, I started with the front of the furniture and then I'm moving to the sides, the top, and then last, the actual drawers. I do want to say to keep in mind that you don't have to use an orbital sander or a electrical or battery powered sander. You can actually sand it by hand. It's just going to be a lot more time consuming. I happen to have one already, so that's why I'm using it. I'm using it to my advantage. Now that I'm getting done with the sanding, I'm going to be filling in some holes with some wood filler. You guys can actually skip this step if it's not necessary for you, um, but I did have some holes on the dresser front facing drawers that I did not want on there. And so I'm just filling those pretty quickly here with some wood filler, as you guys can see. And then I'm not going to show you guys, but off camera after I fill these holes um, and imperfections I actually go back and I sand them down with uh, a sanding block so just by hand I lightly sand them with again 20-20 grit something fine in order to just remove the excess amount of filler and that the holes are actually filled in So after all the sanding is done, then you guys are ready to just wipe it down once more with some warm water just to remove all of the dust and dirt off of the dresser in order to start painting. As you guys can see, I'm using a, f a foam roller. Uh, I find that it gives a lot, even a lot more even application compared to a brush. What happens with a brush a lot of the times is if you don't use good technique, then you end up having a lot of brush strokes on your furniture. And I personally don't like the look, but if you do, then hey, that's fine too. Um, I find that for beginners, a foam roller is a lot easier than a brush. And it, like I said, it covers a lot more surface area, so it may not be as a daunting task um, as opposed to using a brush. Now, I do use the brush on the smaller areas where it's more small detailed, um, but for the majority of the project, I do use a foam roller. 
And I did want to mention that I am using Bare Marquee Paint in pure white semi-gloss. Um, all of the products that I'm using on this video, I'm going to be linking them down in the description below for you. So I wanted to show you guys where we're at with this dresser. I'm pretty much done. I went ahead and off camera did the more detailed area here. Um, you guys saw me do the top, the sides. I went ahead and did off camera all of the bottom. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. Uh, I think it looks pretty darn good. Only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add another layer or another coat, I should say, here and on the other side as well. And then we'll be done with the main part. Alright guys, so that's going to go ahead and complete our project. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. I just went ahead and placed the hardware that you guys saw me spray paint and put the drawers back on and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It is such a big change from what it used to look like. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what what it used to look like and you guys can compare the two. But please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this uh, project. Um, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys in not only enjoyed the video, but actually learned something from my technique. Um, again, drop a comment below of what you guys would like to see in the future. Um, I do have quite a bit of house um, do-it-yourself projects coming up. So stay tuned for those as well as some fun vlogs that I'll be doing. Um, so yeah. Uh, other than that, you guys be kind and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.